Good time zone, everyone, and a welcome to a redux of sorts of the Town of Light Let's Play. So, when we tried this Let's Play before, unfortunately, we only focused on each chapter, each chapter individually, like the Midnight Fight Express. But uh, how we're gonna do it this time around is more akin to like the Doom Two Let's Play, where it's gonna be three chapters per episode. Per episode. So today we're going to start with chapter 1, go through chapter 3, and then the next video will be chapters 4 through 6, and so on and so forth. Uh, be aware that the Town of Light is has definitely a lot of triggers and warnings. Uh, so if you notice at the beginning of this video, I would say the Town of Light is based on real events, places, and research concerning mental illness and the life of pa patients in lunatic asylums from the beginning of the 20th century until their closure. Uh, so this game may not be for the pain of heart for everybody, so I'm warning everybody right now. The reason why we're playing a game like this is because I am an official content creator for Wire Productions. Um, so expect, uh, Arcade Paradise was also under their, under their umbrella as well. So expect, uh, uh, more Let's Plays from them and maybe one or two streamed games from them. Um, but, uh, anywho. Uh, the Town of Light is based on real events, places, and research concerning mental illness. And the life of patients in lunatic asylums from the beginning of the 20th century until their closure. It contains stories which may be disturbing. The characters and names are uh, fictitious. And any re references to people living or dead is purely coincidental. This game uses artistic interpretation of a former Italian psychiatric institution for dramatic purposes. Please note that mental health services have radically improved around the world. If you think you may have psychological problems, please speak to a local doctor or specialist. Let us begin. Uh, Vol Volterra, Volterra 1942. What's happened? What is this place? Maybe. Maybe I'm dead. I can't see any light. Maybe I am dead. I can't get up. What's going on? What's happening to me? There's no one here, but these noises. God, my head is killing me. I can't keep my eyes open. Reality fades away and my skin has gone. Every breath of wind is excruciating painful. Also, the sounds might be low, it might be, so I will adjust it in a bit. Inspired by real events. Let me see. Oh, yeah. The volume might be a little low. Because apparently, um, there was an issue with the, um, with, um, the game being a little loud. Apparently, there was something wrong with my OBS connection. So, um... The Tuscany 2016. Okay. For, uh, first food rationing's improvement on April 20th, bread rations increased by 50 grams per day and extra kilogram per month of soup productions, agricultural labor, or treatment reform, and extraordinary marmalade distribution. Incredible anti-aircraft victory 159 aircraft shot down in 24 hours by the German Continental Air Defense major Russian operation northwest of Dasi, enemy convoy scattered in the Mediterranean, two destroyers, and six merchant vessels sunk. Uh, Giluya K distressed but held up her, their faith. Her mother, Irene E, father, uh, Eric, and sister Martha delivered the previous news. The funeral will take place in La Romola on Sunday, April 16th at 3.30 p.m., starting from the House of the Deceased, April 13th, 1944. Fierce murder in San... Cassiano, April 14th, 1944. 
Julia K., a younger woman from a respiratory respectable family, was brutally murdered near her home. Police are investigating possible political mo motive emerges. The Town of Light title card. It's crazy that a lot of these places still exist today as monuments to just how bad, like, Medicines got mental illness wrong back in the day. Well, this place, time, memory. My memory of those years is hazy. Between the age of about seven and ten, my memories are disconnected, and I couldn't say how many times and how frequently the light used to come. My mother gave me a doll around that time. Charlotte. Thinking back to it makes me want to laugh. But at the beginning, I remembered that I was afraid of her. I thought she wanted to harm me, to kill me and take my place. But when the light came, she would stay beside me, and her presence. Did not disturb me. I was able to talk to her, and so she became my best friend. At least until I was in grade two, when everything changed. She didn't laugh at me, and if I had to say something to my mother, I asked her to say it. When things inside me turned bad, she was the only one I could turn to. Now all of this makes me blush, but Charlotte was a real friend to me. I knew that she was just a doll. I wasn't stupid, but at the same time, she was real, too. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's difficult. My mother would cuddle her and tell her things. I guess she was trying to communicate with me, but back then I was too afraid to understand it. Okay. And obviously we're going to fill in the doc. There's more pages, but that's like at the near end of the story. Alright. Hospital file discharge died on November eighth, nineteen forty two. 
Well, it combines with the directives, the passions, the name is spirit of the organism, blah, 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 secondary and recognition, special certificate of honor. Asylum. Uh, Rinse of Witch. A lot of journal stuff here. What is this? Love the silence. Save your agitation, cause her curses her through her there for having ruined her life. Jesus. She wanted me to take us away. The damn kid wanted to kill us. She's a devil, I tell you. She's a devil herself. She destroyed my ability to give life. She left her sister in silence. Silence is scary. The mother explains that her husband, er Eric K., worried about her daughter, called the doctor who, noticing the state of the woman and the potential danger to her daughter, urgently. Initiated the procedure for admission. The woman was admitted to observation in the single room, not because she was dangerous, but in view of her social class, it seemed the most appropriate choice. The mother has proven, has provided a great generous, the mother has provided a generous donation to this institution in order to find a more suitable accommodation for her daughter. The only thing I remember clearly is Charlotte, my doll. See if I remember correctly. Oh, Jesus. Nobody says we can't. Let's find Charlotte. This looks like a cozy place. I will say, for this being a walking simulator, essentially, love the, the design and style. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that thing glitched out. Nope. That elevator is too dangerous, man. Good lord. Jesus. Imagine being trapped in an elevator like that. Actually, it'd be very convenient if, like, if, like, in front of the door, all you have to do is, like, get bolt, uh... That's something to cut the chain. Um... Remember... Oh, there's Charlotte! Ooh. Mummy took good care of Charlotte. She tucked her in, hugged her, gave her cuddles and kisses. She was very affectionate and loving. Nothing bad happened to Charlotte, and that surprised me. I didn't understand. At first, I was quite scared. I was afraid that she wanted to hurt me. 
I lived in constant fear that mom would abandon her. Because I didn't deserve to live. I didn't deserve to be loved. It's cold and it's dark. Look, she's cold. She'll get ill. We can take care of her. Nobody can stop us. Charlotte is a good girl. Ah, uh, experience. Okay. All right, so we're looking for something, probably on the first floor. He doesn't want to. No. In the town of light, he doesn't want to. Charlotte will be comfy here. But it's cold. No, no, it's cold. Don't shiver, Charlotte. The cold will go away. It'll go away. I think we're going back upstairs. If I if I recall the pattern of of events, we must find some warm lights. Let's go to the surgical ward. Oh wow! I would like to say the surgical ward ward is level two. Right? Yeah, it has to be level two. Oh. I have to, you know, back up, you know, just, uh, what the hell? Oh, okay. I can't even. Surgical ward is. No, that's. So do you see? So do you see? It's on this floor, right? doesn't want to. Not Charlotte. Then it's this way, yeah? If I remember the if I remember Well, found it. <laughs> By luck, I found it. The cold has gone away now, you see? The light, the warmth. We can do it. The cold will go away. It has to. Now we can enter the ward where everything started. Save help. 
So the ward is downstairs, right? It all began in the observation ward on the ground floor. Well, just about the creepy noises, I know where I'm going at least. Damn, son. Right as hell. One day I turned off the light, but it didn't go dark. It was a limitless immensity, a blinding, merciless light. Walk towards the light. Walk towards the light! And I was afraid. Always afraid. A fear that wore me down. I needed help. But I couldn't speak. I was terrified of everything. Even thinking. God damn, son. They said they were taking me to a place where the fear would go away. Where I would get better. I stopped living in there. They dragged me away and stripped off all my clothes. Everything. I tried to explain what was going on in my head. They tied me to the bed. For days. I was alone with my nightmares. It wasn't fear anymore. It was madness. And when you're mad, you cease to exist. She was my only hope in this hell. I was descending down, down among the damned. But that woman and her smile kept me alive. Uh, justified name is Sir D. Renee. Paternity unknown. Place of birth. Monte Poliscoli. Age 17. Page of is transferred from temporary asylum and observation rooms to the quiet ward. And that is the main character's name, I believe. The door is locked from the outside. 
Here, the doors can only be locked and unlocked from the outside. Yeah, that isn't creepy at all. Like, can't you imagine going to a place like this and ended up sleeping for God knows hours on end? I'll be terrified as all hell. Yeah, let's just get to the door. Alright, what are you doing with the doll? Get back here. He laughed, panted, and slobbered all over me. It hurt me when he touched me. I thought I'd suddenly split open with a loud crack, and I would be shattered into pieces. I felt fragile, sick, dirty, degraded. All I could do was clutch Charlotte tightly while he... Renee obeyed. He was the master in the realm of light. I was being consumed by the evil act I had committed. I threw up and could feel hell getting closer and closer. Those tests the doctors did to me. They said there was something growing inside and they wanted to drag it out of me. Jesus. Alright, and that is the end of, of this episode. There's a lot of notes and stuff going around, but um, basically, if, if you haven't already gotten the idea of what these assignments were, these weren't hospitals. These weren't places of of of, of God, if you're, if you're the religious sort. No, these places were eternal hell. For anyone who had uh, mental illness or any sort of mental health issue uh, in the early 20th century, instead of all these medicines and programs and, and, and support groups we have today, places like these were the only source. And if you know the horror stories behind these places, then, you know, keep, keep it to yourself. But, you know, if, if, you, if you heard the stories, if you know the stories, then you know that, um, or what what the main character is going is, is uh, went through uh, just now is not it wasn't commonplace back in the day and uh, sadly it, it isn't a a uh and sadly that's kind of stuff still goes on but in the form of nursery homes and and god knows where else um but anyways anyways if you enjoyed this uh redux episode i'll uh, leave a like comment and subscribe to the youtube channel and if you're looking for more let's plays, then check out my other let's plays. We finished. I finished. Uh, I finished. Um, uh, Midnight Fight Express. So the Town of Light will be taking precedent over this. Uh, it will be again three chapters per video, a bunch like Doom Two. So that way we can turn out this let's play a lot quicker and move on to the next game. And then, um, uh, but besides uh, let's plays, I do. I also do uh first impressions, trailer reactions, uh, YouTube shorts. Uh, there are Twitch VODs from my past and present exploits on Twitch. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Indiana Minotaur. And then, um, 
And then finally, I have a podcast because I have a podcast. And then I will see you all on the next episode of The Town of Light. Bye-bye.